It is a fantastic night. You know, Seven is in your neighborhood this evening here in Ferndale at the DIY Street Fair, and there's something for everyone. In fact, the band is just getting started here. We got food that's cooking right now, but we also got all these amazing local vendors. Like, check out these drink holsters, all Michigan made. This is pretty incredible. Come on down, check out this. And then we also have over here something that's really cool I want to show you. Check out these guitar holders here. All different ones, like little skeleton hands. This is really cool if you're uh, a guitar player. So this is all available for you tonight and tomorrow and all weekend down here at Ferndale. But up next, from right now, I want to introduce you to a staple here in Ferndale that's reaching out and helping the community since 1989. Take a look. Welcome to Affirmations. It's mission to be a welcome space for all people of all sexual orientations, gender identities, and expressions. And Affirmations to me provided uh, a safe space for me um, as I was going through some major life changes to regroup, retool, and reimagine my life. John Jonette was part of Affirmations in the 90s. He then moved away and came home to Michigan and took on a group leader role at the center. This is an entry point for so many people coming out. Um, our youth are particularly vulnerable to discrimination in our community. He is now the Director of Development at Affirmations, a place for all ages and where you can find acceptance without judgment. We're here to support um, you moving forward as a person and, and really living your authentic life. In 2018, 30,000 people came to the center for events, activities, and programs. The nonprofit thrives with help from the community. The volunteers really are the core of how we deliver services. I wanted somewhere where I could be completely myself. Michael Hovey kept it private that he was gay his whole career. It's been a struggle through my life to do what I wanted to do and at the same time be who I am. Two years ago, Hubby retired from his job. And when I finally retired, I made a beeline for this place. Volunteering and helping others find their own way. That's what people find here, uh, a listening ear. Ferndale has the highest concentration of LGBTQ plus people in the state, but Affirmation serves all of Southeastern Michigan. It's not just that we're serving the people who walk in our doors. We literally are serving the, the whole community. Affirmations, creating a safe place for everyone. We're an oasis. We're a place to come and feel comfortable and refreshed. And if you want to check out some of the great events Affirmations has coming up, we do have a link on our website, WXYZ.com. But again, down here tonight, 7 in your neighborhood, Ferndale, the DIY street fair. You can probably hear the band kicking off behind me here. So many great things for so many people down here. We got crafts, we got great food. It's just a good old Friday night down here in Ferndale. Again, at 11 o'clock tonight, though, you definitely want to tune in right here on Channel 7. Photojournalist John Cholino will show you a landmark right here in Ferndale. You've probably driven by it many times and thought, what is it? Well, photojournalist John Cholino will break into the history of that. You definitely don't want to miss it. He'll let you know what it is. Again, that's at 11 o'clock right here on Channel 7. For now, reporting live in Ferndale, I'm Alan Campbell. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, Alan, we'll look forward to that.